Hello and welcome back to Thomas Time on Digital Awesome. And I have to tell you, I am so hyped for Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Everything looks so damn great. And I'm also very glad that one of the characters from my top 10 videos is already confirmed to be in the game. Of course that's King K. Roo. But in this video I am going to talk about Echo Fighters. As you probably know, Echo Fighters are what we used to call clones. But now they are a part of their unique fighter and they have their own spot or they are combined with their fighter. In this video I'm going to look at the echo factors for all the different characters. So the first one is of course Mario. Now for Mario I can't really think of a good echo fighter. I mean Dr. Mario would have been the best but he is not his echo fighter. Yeah the thing I can think about is Paper Mario. That could work his, mar his moveset but then Paper and it's possible. So the next one is Donkey Kong. Now Donkey Kong isn't hard to come up with someone, of course, it should be Funky Kong. Funky Kong is the same size, it's a big gorilla, His the moveset of Donkey Kong is like for, for a big gorilla. Only Funky Kong should use his surfboard in some moves, like the twisting around move, the up B move from Donkey Kong, Funky Kong could use his surfboard. Then for Link, I've got a little bit of the same problem as Mario because he already has Young Link and Toon Link, which could be his Echo Fighter, but aren't. And I can't really think of someone, so I came up with Linkle from Hyrule Warriors as the because she's the female Link, but it's not completely that I am behind this idea because her moveset would be different with the crossbows and stuff, but. If I have to say someone, I say Linkle. And then the next one is Samus. Samus already got Dark Samus confirmed. I really like to have Dark Samus in the game as Samus Echo Fighter. But yeah, that's already confirmed, so I'm not gonna speculate any farther. For Yoshi, I was thinking about Yarn Yoshi from Yoshi's Woolly World. He could use the same moveset as Yoshi does, but then he throws the Yarn Balls instead of the X. So he could use the same moveset and he moves like the transformations he has in Woolly World. But he needs to be too different to be an alternate, so he could be an Echo Fighter. For Kirby I was thinking about an Echo Fighter, but it wasn't really a good one, so I was saying Prince Fluff. But no, he just doesn't work the same as Kirby does in Smash. So then maybe Gooey? But Gooey doesn't transform any copies, but it would be fun to have him wearing Mario hats or Link's uh, outfit when he copies them. So if I have to choose, then Gooey would be the Echo Fighter for Kirby. For Fox, I couldn't find a really perfect Echo Fighter. I was thinking about James McCloud, his father, but I think he looks too similar to Fox. Like, the only change is sunglasses. And then I thought it would be fun to have the, Star Fo the whole Star Fox crew in it, so... Fox Echo Factor could be Peppy Hair or Slippy Toad, depends on whose focus is, but that's a spoiler for later. For Pikachu, yeah, I was thinking about Raichu. I'm not really a fan of this idea, but it's actually the best idea I can come up with. You need an electric fighter for Pikachu, and Raichu would be the best choice. For Luigi, I was thinking, yeah, maybe Dr. Luigi, but it would be strange to have Dr. Luigi as an Echo for Luigi, but Dr. Mario as a separate character. So, my best echo for Luigi is Mr. L, his alter ego. For Ness, of course, Ninten will be the most logical echo fighter. I like the look of him, he looks a lot like Ness, but I think he could be different enough if you want to make him different, then there are possibilities there. For Captain Falcon, there are so many good options. Like, almost everyone from f Zero would be a good option for him. But, in my opinion, in the end, it comes down to Blood Falcon and Black Shadow. And then of those two, I think Black Shadow is the most unique and most fun character to be an Echo Fighter of Captain Falcon. And for Jigglypuff, the next one, uh, it's the same as Pikachu actually, because I'm thinking, yeah, you could do Iglybuff or Wrigglytuff, but I'm not really a fan of this idea, but if you have to choose one, this would be the one. So Peach is already Daisy confirmed, so that's alright. For Bowser, I would love to see Dry Bowser. Now, he could be an alternate version, but Dry Bowser should have blue flames and other stuff that's different than the normal Bowser. So, I think he should be a real Echo Fighter, and his Final Smash could be similar to Bowser's new Final Smash. But then he's like in New Super Mario Bros. 2, where he gets real big and fighting them. 
Now for the ice climbers, I'm kind of hoping that there could be cross series echo fighters because then it would be best to have the baby bros, baby Mario and baby Luigi as echo fighters for the ice climbers. They could use fireballs instead of the ice, they could use the hammers, they could use each other to climb up and stuff. So that would be best and maybe baby Peach and baby Daisy as alternates. Yeah, it could be if you want, but baby Mario and baby Luigi. Sure. For Sheik, I was thinking about Impa, of course. Impa is the one who trained Sheik to be the Sheik as she is. So the Ocarina of Time version or the Skyward Sword version of Impa would be great as an Echo Fighter for Sheik. For Zelda, I was thinking about a few different ones. Maybe Hilda from Link Between Worlds. She looks a bit the same, so if you look at that, she could be the good Echo Fighter. But I don't like her that much. So I was thinking about Doom Zelda, because she could use the same moveset with the Phantom, with with other things and I'm thinking yes that could be but her final smash should be like Link's final smash but then with light bow. So for Dr. Mario the next one I was thinking I don't think he should get an echo fighter but of course if he has to get one then Dr. Luigi would be a good echo fighter for him. For Pichu of course I'm thinking of little electric Pokemon like Dedenne but if you want to try something fun maybe boat, Plusle and Minin as Pichu. I don't know how this could work, so necessarily they could be just alternate version of each other, but yeah, so plus one minor. So for Falco, uh, yeah, as I said, I want the Star Fox crew complete, so if Fox has peppy hair, then Falco could have Sleepy Toad as its Echo Fighter. Now for Sleepy Toad, I would like him to have his own moveset, as I explained in my top 10 video. But as an Echo Fighter Falco, that would be fine also. Now for Mart, he has Lucina already confirmed, so that's fine. Okay, for Yon Link, I don't know, I was maybe thinking about Ravio because, and this is a spoiler for Link Between Worlds, so 3, 2, 1. Ravio is sort of the Link from Loreal. He's actually Link, but then in Loreal. Yeah, Ravio could be made as an Echo Fighter for Young Link. For Ganondorf, I think Demise from Skyward Sword would be the best option as an Echo Fighter, but you could try something different. Maybe Yuga, but he has this magic wand and. This works different. So Demise is the best. For Mewtwo, I was thinking uh, it could be another Pokemon like him with uh, yeah, just another Psychic Pokemon. But Shadow Mewtwo would be the best for him. He's kind of different and he, use, he could use the same moves but he's different enough. But we don't really want another Mewtwo in the game as a character. So Shadow Mewtwo would be a fine, perfect costume, I think. But if I have to pick an Echo Fighter, it could also be him. Now Roy has Chrome already confirmed as an Echo Fighter, so that's also already done. For Mr. Game & Watch, it's hard to think of a real good one, but because he's flat, maybe also Paper Mario for him, but then not for Mario, of course, just one. So yeah, that could be, and his, the side B attack could be a hammer that gets stronger in different attacks, so it could work, but just because I have to pick. So for Meta Knight, he got many possibilities also, like Dark Meta Knight, or as many people say, Galactonic. But Galactonite is also already a costume for Meta Knight, so I don't necessarily think Galactonite couldn't be done, but I think he's not the best option. I think Morphonite from Kirby Star Allies is the best option. He looks very cool, he looks very different, and he uses the moves a little bit different, so he could be a cool Echo Fighter for Meta Knight. Then there is Pit, but Pit already has Dark Pit as his Echo Fighter, so that's done, that's cool, yeah. Nothing to say about that. So for Zero Suit Samus, the best choice would be Justin Bailey from Metroid. I don't really know everything about her, but I believe she's sort of a version of Samus or Family, or I don't really know. But yeah, the way she looks, it could be a be very good Echo Fighter for Zero Suit Samus. Now for Wario, it's kind of strange, but Mona from WarioWare could be the one. Now she isn't a farting type or a gross type, but she could use perfume as farting and her the Wario bike could be uh, the scooter for Mona. So she could work using the same moveset but changing literally everything about it. But yeah, then it's fine. <laughs> for Snake, I was of course thinking about the character from Metal Gear, maybe Big Boss, but he looks very much like the snake we already have, but then with an eye patch and some other minor differences. But Raiden from Metal Gear Solid 2 could be a very fun and a little bit different Echo Fighter for Snake.
So for the Pokemon Trainer, I think the Echo Factor should be a Pokemon Trainer from another generation. But my preference would be the Pokemon Trainers from Generation 3. So that's that Brandon and May. And the Pokemon would then be Mudkip, Groval and Blaziken I think. And that would be fine, Blaziken is cool, Groval is cool, Mudkip, yeah, fine, have him also. Now for Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong could be a good Echo Factor and I know she should have her own moveset but maybe she could give her own touch to Diddy Kong's moveset. So she uses her hair and she doesn't use a tail because she has no tail. But I hear that Diddy Kong's tail move is already removed from his moveset so that's actually more evidence that Dixie Kong could be uh, the Echo Factor for Diddy Kong. Now for Lucas, uh, there are many characters from Earthbound that would work as an Echo Fighter for him. But if you look at who's not already in a Final Smash for Ness or Lucas, then maybe the Masked Man would be a fun character. And that also works with the heroes and villain thing that's now going on in Smash. Now Sonic has many possibilities for an Echo Fighter. It could be Shadow, as is leaked, probably gonna happen. Otherwise it could be Metal Sonic, Classic Sonic or Tails. The Classic Sonic should at least be an alternate version of Sonic. He uses exactly the same moveset, he moves the same, he's a little bit smaller, but it could be a very good alternate version, like Olimar and Elf. And then for the Echo Fighter, I think Shadow is indeed the best option. I do think he should skate and not run, of course, because that's how Shadow moves. And his final smash should be something using Chaos Control and not just Super Shadow. But then, yeah, it would be fine to have Shadow. For King DDD, I really don't know about a good one, but Bonkers comes closest. I don't know how the flying will work, but with the big hammer and stuff, I think Bonkers comes closest. Now for Olimar, the only real good Echo Fighter for Olimar is of course Captain Louis. He was one of the main protagonists in Pikmin 2 and he was a part of 3. I think Louis should be the best Echo Fighter. For Lucario, I was at first thinking of someone like Zoroark, but actually the newest released Pokemon yet, Zorora, 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 I don't know, sorry, could be a real good Echo Fighter. He has the same build as Lucario, he kind of looks the same, but he would use Electric instead of the Aura, so he might get an Electro Ball, and, but it could work if you ch just change that, and that's an Echo Fighter, that's not an alternate, that's what Echo Fighters are all about. For RLB, I really don't know a good Echo Fighter, but yeah, I was thinking about Rob64 from Star Fox, but that's really just because I have to pick someone, and not because I think it really will be the best idea. And now a pretty good fighter for Toon Link would be Tetra. You have to think about it a little, but it would be really good. She could use her Cutlass as a sword, and her big pistol would be the bow and arrow, and yeah, think about something for the boomerang, but there's something there I guess. So she could be a real interesting character as an Echo Fighter for Toon Link. For Wolf, I think one of his crew, of the Star Wolf crew, is that Star Wolf? I, don't, I think so. Would be a good Echo Fighter. So Pentacarosso maybe, or Pigma, although he's Pigma. But I think Leo Pomboski would be the best Echo Fighter for Wolf. Okay, now for a Villager, like almost every character in Animal Crossing moves and acts the same, so it would work. But if you have to pick one, it would be the character that used to be an assist trophy but is now replaced by Captain, and that is of course Isabel. She should be an Echo Factor for Villager. For Mega Man I think Proto Man is the man for the job. Just because he is in Mega Man's Final Smash doesn't mean he can't be a fighter. I mean maybe Mega Man would be in Proto Man's Final Smash and vice versa. That could work. But okay, if Proto Man can't be an Echo Factor because of the Final Smash thing, and I think Roll would be a good option for Mega Man because she was sort of an Echo Fighter, clone fighter of Mega Man in Marvel vs. Capcom. So she already done it before, why not another time? Okay, now we Fit Trainer, and I'm just gonna say it Waluigi should be the Echo Fighter for Wii Fit Trainer. No, okay, but I really can't think of a good one for Wii Fit Trainer. I've heard some things about the Just Dance silhouette, but just no, no, just no. And Waluigi has the body for it, I mean, okay. Yeah, he should be his own fighter, and I'm just gonna ignore that he's still an assist trophy. So Waluigi, yeah, sure. Now for Rosalina, I think Pauline could be a doubtful Echo Fighter. I mean, there, yeah, some things would work, but I don't really know who's gonna be the Luma of 
Pauline. Maybe a mini Mario from Donkey Kong. There's something to come up with. So Pauline. For Little Mac almost any punch out character would work. But I think Glass Joe would be a fun Echo Fighter for Little Mac because he could use the same moveset, boxing and use and punching. But he has still has his own personality and his own way of moving, so he is kind of different but uses the same, so that's a good Echo Fighter, yeah. For Greninja, I was thinking about Ash Greninja. I know the anime of Pokemon isn't really in the game in any way, but I think Ash Greninja would be a good Echo Fighter for Greninja because he uses the same moves, but he uses them all in his own way and he moves in his own way and that's great for an Echo Fighter. And for me fighters I'm not gonna think of anything, there's nothing to be talked of. Now for Palatina, I have to admit I don't know much about Kid Icarus, but of course Medusa is like the counterpart of Palatina. Palatina uses light, Medusa uses dark, so in that way she could be a good Echo Fighter for Palatina. Now for Pac-Man I don't really know about this one, but of course Miss Pac-Man should be the obvious choice. But I don't see enough differences between them to let her be an Echo Fighter and I think she should be an alternate like what's going on with Olimar and Elf. And besides, Pac-Man's costumes already suck, so let her be four of them. Now for Robin, I don't know much about everyone from Fire Emblem, but I've did some research and Celica, Celica, I don't know, sorry. Seems to be the best Echo Fighter for Robin. And the Echo Fighter for Shulk could best be another character from the Xenoblade series. And then it would make most sense to add Rex as the Echo Fighter for Shulk. Now Bowser Jr is a strange one because he already has 7 alternate versions that could be Echo Fighters. But I think Fallful would be strange but a good idea. He could make something of the clown car but then his own way. And he could use the gadgets in his own way. So he could be a good Echo Fighter for Bowser Jr. For Duck Hunt, I don't know if it's really possible, but I think Banjo and Kazooie could be a good Echo Fighter for them. Because then you have a big animal and you have a flying bird animal, so that's kind of the same. But Duck Hunt has another moveset with uh, cowboys and stuff, so it would be a big shot, but Banjo and Kazooie could be the Echo Fighter. For Ryu, the best option is... <laughs> For Ryu, the best option is obviously Ken from Street Fighter. Ken is his clone in the early versions of Street Fighter and should be his Echo Fighter in Smash. Now for Cloud, if we're gonna do cross series Echoes, I would love to see the High Real Warriors version of Impa for Cloud with the big swords that, and Cloud is also that, so that could work. But otherwise, Zack Fair from Final Fantasy would be a good pick. Now for Corin, as I said, I don't know much about Fire Emblem, but after some research, I think Tiki, Taikai, <laughs> I think Tiki is the best Echo Fighter for Corin. Now for Bayonetta, the best Echo Fighter should be Sean. She works the same as Bayonetta, she's the other playable character in Bayonetta 2, and if Bayonetta is to get one, it should just be Sean. So for the, the first newcomer, the Inklings, could be a good Echo Fighter in their villains, the Octolings. And with the recent Octo expansion pack, the Octolings are just mirror in the picture, so this really could happen. Now for Ridley, the other newcomer, he could also get a good Echo Fighter, and I'm thinking about Meta Ridley. Meta Ridley could also be an alternate version, but if you make something out of it, it could be a fun Echo Fighter. Now Simon Belmont already has Rick the Belmont right away as a new Echo Fighter for him, so that's done. And for King K. Roo, I can't really think of a satisfying Echo Fighter for, for this king. He is a real unique fighter and there is no one like him, but if I have to pick someone I'm thinking about the new villain from the Donkey Kong Country games, and that is Lord Frederick. In the games he kind of replaced King K. Roo, though everyone kept preferring the real king of course, but Frederick could be an echo fighter. And now last but not least, huh? what another character? Yes, because Sora from Kingdom Hearts should also be a playable character and Roxas should be his echo fighter. Because in Kingdom Hearts he is Sora in some sort of way, he's connected to him, so Echo Fighter, well, welcome. I was also thinking about Riku, but he really has a different fighting style than Sora, so that wouldn't really work. Now those are all the characters with all their possible Echo Fighters. And if I have to pick a list of the ones I really like that could happen, then these are the ones that are remaining. And if I have to pick 5 of these characters that I think that really could and should and would happen in the game, then these are them. So now I want to hear your thoughts about possible. So now I want to hear your thoughts about possible Echo Fighters. 
Let me know in the comments and while you're at it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for my future videos. It was good to spend this time with you, see you next time.